A normal computer runs on bits, which can only exist in two states, zero or one. But a quantum computer runs on qubits, which can be zero and one at the same time. This phenomenon is called superposition. Now imagine a sphere. A classical bit can only be at the North Pole or the South Pole of this sphere. But a qubit? It can exist anywhere on the surface of the sphere, which means it holds a unique combination of zero and one simultaneously. But here's the catch. The moment you measure a qubit, its state collapses to either the North Pole or South Pole, just like flipping a coin and seeing heads or tails. And quantum computers don't stop there. Qubits can also become entangled, meaning if you change the state of one qubit, the other qubit instantly changes too, even if they're light years apart. That's why quantum computers can process multiple states in parallel, while classical computers can only handle one calculation at a time. This is why some problems that might take a classical computer millions of years could be solved by a quantum computer in just a few seconds.